oh, my girlfriend asked me if it's okay if she goes on a girl's night out or she goes to Vegas for a week and blah, blah, blah. They'll call me. What, what do you do? And I, and I'm, what's my, what do I always say? I say, <laughs> let her. Say, you, hey, go right ahead. Please do. Have a good time with the girlfriends. And as soon as she's out the door, Let's you see. take all her shit, pack it up, and put it on the fucking sidewalk, and then you change the <laughs> locks. Okay, okay. Right? I felt because, for- for a minute, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, where he going with this? Where he going with this? You know what I'm saying? But I like it. He said, let her. Go ahead. Bye. You know what I'm saying? But they have to know when you use that. And this this works. This this mindset, this uh, tactic definitely works for women. You know what I'm saying? They have to know the type of man you are. You have to make your, your uh, standards clear from the beginning, however you p- put it out there. But they have to know. That okay, my this man he's not gonna deal with this, or this man he's not gonna deal with that. So that way, when you got this BS that come up, when he's like, oh, I want to go on my girl trip, and I want to head on down to Miami, Florida for the weekend, you know what I'm saying? And you respond with, oh, cool, go ahead, have fun, do your thing, go live, go live your life, have fun, do your thing. She should know in that in that energy and that ram that okay, he don't really want me to go. I'm not gonna go. I'm just going to stay here. One, she might even be questioning, dang, why he's so happy for me to leave? You know what I'm saying? Dang, is he cheating on me? Is he got somebody going to come over here while I'm gone? Like, all kind of stuff, man. You got to you gotta know how to play the, play the field. What up, though, guy gang? It's your boy, Kelvin J, man. I'm back with another video. Today, we about to figure out and find out why women seem to never stick around unless you do these things. Let's see what Marvin got to say about this and see if I agree with him or not. The problem why so many guys get disrespected by their girl and why, you know, she's okay with doing the stupid ho shit that she's doing even though she's in a relationship with you is quite frankly, your girl doesn't fear your girl doesn't fear you. And I'm not saying from a physicality standpoint, you know, go out here and Sean Connery your girl. I'm not saying that. What I am saying though <laughs> is that she needs to be scared. Yes, Mr. Bond. Yeah. She needs to be scared of you leaving her. And I've always said this, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, right, if you're going to look at respect, right? Let's say it's a mm-hmm. it's a I agree with that. I agree with that. The woman definitely should be in a position where she feels that you could possibly leave her, where she knows that you got, you know, possibly it's easier for you to, you know, get another woman or grab some other, you know what I'm saying? You got other options out there. You got other things going on, whether if it's your successes going on, your businesses, you know what I mean? You got things going on that in her mind, you know, she's like, man, I hope I don't lose this dude, man. I hope... I hope I even meet the requirements from, you know, I've dated a few women where they would completely sabotage the whole relationship because they don't feel like they're good enough. You know what I'm saying? Like they constantly feel like either I'm cheating or I'm doing something or, you know what I'm saying? And they, or they just don't fit suit to my lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Especially during the time where like when I was going to like different uh, premiere events and different things like that. You know, it gets to the point where like when I'm going to different shows, traveling the country, different things like that. You know, some women just feel like they don't meet this, the requirement or they don't, you know, which I don't care. You know what I'm saying? That stuff don't really bother me, but that's how some of these women be feeling about it. It's a nice pizza. One of the required ingredients of this pizza of uh, respect is fear. Okay. Fear is the mm-hmm. fucking cheese of the pizza, guys. The okay? cheese of the pizza. If a girl doesn't fear you, she can't respect you think of the police why do you shout out to myron for the dragon ball z slippers them things look comfortable man better than the socks i know y'all be take the shoes off at the door y'all be in your socks i'm digging the slippers you act nice a lot of the times hi officer how are you doing blah blah because blah. there's fear that you can go to jail they have authority over you right why do you um or speak they might, to someone they might shoot you to yeah. default respect why, why do you speak to, to to your boss in a respectful manner well you don't want to get fired from your job mm. why do you um speak to a guy who's significantly taller and stronger than you that could probably fuck your ass up why do you speak to them respectfully because there's a fear of potential violence mm. or your why do honor you each other? valid my man, Myron's going down some valid points here. I don't know about y'all, but I don't just wake up in the morning and walk outside and go up to the biggest guy I see and start talking sh- shit to him. Like, I just don't. That ain't, It ain't happening. You know what I'm saying? I'm not doing that. You know what I'm saying? So he he's pointing out some good valid points here. The court, your honor, you yeah. address the you judge as your honor because they right. got your ass in their hands. When you're around men that you don't necessarily know, mm-hmm. why do you speak to them with respect? Because that, there's that unspoken potential of violence, okay? Mm-hmm. So what I'm saying here is that fear is a prerequisite that's required for your woman to respect you. And you're not going to get that respect through fear of violence. No, the fear of her 
leaving uh, of you leaving her. That's the problem why so many of you guys get disrespected by your girl. She mm -hmm. knows you are not fucking going anywhere. That's why yes. I was just mm. I was just writing about this. I've done my That's a hundred percent true, man. I've even tested this out over the past few years. The, I would say like the past five years of my life since I started my celibacy round. I kind of just been testing women that I've been dating. You know what I'm saying? Trying different things with them, trying different tactics just to see how they, how different ones react, how they respond. And overall, it's like a generic code when it comes to women. You know what I'm saying? Women have a generic code of how they operate, and it's very similar across almost all of them. You know what I'm saying? It's just like in their nature, right? And you know what Myron is breaking down here is a hundred percent true, man. A hundred percent true. They gotta have that fear, and if they don't. They start challenging you in all kind of crazy ways. And if you don't leave them, if you don't leave, like, you know, like I said, I've, I've tried all this. You know what I'm saying? If you stick around and stay, it just, things just get worse. They try to act, they act, da, 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 you know what I mean? Like things just get weird and things get worse. But if you actually leave, you know what I'm saying? Get in your car, head out, skirt, bounce, roll, drop her off, leave, done with it. You know what I'm saying? They be like chasing you like a mad dog. They go crazy after you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like crazy fiending for you, like you're a drug or something, when you can actually say no to women. You know what I'm saying? So, man, if you have not mastered that already or gained some type of control over your lust, over your sex drive, you know what I'm saying? The quicker you gain control over that, the faster you can take over the dating game when it comes to women and the faster you can get women to actually respect you when they're dating you and not just be running all over you. You know what I'm saying? Substack, Walking but it's also I, I was putting this out as a series of tweets recently about boundaries mm -hmm. and the things that when like guys think I'm a I'm a hard ass when it comes to when it comes to boundaries because I say like if a girl wants to go like say she wants to go on her you know girls night out or she wants to go on her like weekend to, to Vegas with the girls and you know goddamn well why she wants to go and do that right we've we've had this question on this show before where like guys will say well my girlfriend asked me if it's okay if she goes on a girl's night out or she goes to vegas for a week and blah blah, blah. Call me what, do you, what do you do and I, and what's my what do i always say i say <laughs> let her say you, hey go right ahead please do have a good time with the girlfriends and as soon as she's out the door you take all her shit pack it up and put it on the fucking sidewalk and then you change the <laughs> okay locks, okay right? I felt, because, for a minute i was like wait a minute, wait a minute where he going with this where he going with this you know what i'm saying but i like it he said let her go ahead bye you know what I'm saying? But they have to know when you use that. And this this works. This this mindset, this uh, tactic definitely works for women. You know what I'm saying? They have to know the type of man you are. You have to make your your uh, standards clear from the beginning, however you put it out there. But they have to know that, OK, my, this man, he's not going to deal with this or this man, he's not going to deal with that. So that way, when you got this BS that come up, when it's like, oh, I want to go on my girl trip and I want to head on down to Miami, Florida for the weekend. You know what I'm saying? And you respond with, oh, cool, go ahead, have fun. Do your thing. Go live, go live your life, have fun. Do your thing. She should know in that in that energy and that ram that, okay, he don't really want me to go. I'm not gonna go. I'm just gonna stay here. One, she might even be questioning, dang, why he's so happy for me to leave. You know what I'm saying? Dang, is he cheating on me? Is he got somebody gonna come over here while I'm gone? Like all kind of stuff, man. You gotta you gotta know how to play the play the field. Boundaries mean shit unless there is some consequences to it. And the only way that women understand what your boundaries are is if they touch the hot stove, as if there is some sort of, there has to be a consequence for it. So you're not the kind of guy who talks about it, right? It's demonstrate, do not explicate. Mm, boundaries like must be demonstrated that if a woman is going to appreciate them. The moment you're talking about them and trying to give her an ultimatum, that's when she, just the very fact that you would need to do that means that her desire level isn't high enough to have the insight to know what your fucking boundaries would be in the first place. Mm -hmm. I value this guy, as you were saying before, it's the fear, but the, the fear and the dread comes from an insight saying this. I appreciate this guy so much and I know he is so confirmedly high value that I don't want to oh I don't want to fucking you know lose this guy yeah. so maybe it's not a good idea if I go I would rather I have more desire to stay with this guy on the weekend than I do to go with my girls out on 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 a, a girls night out mm. because if you were high enough value and she had high enough my interest level, right you, she would have the insight to know In the that, hey maybe he wouldn't be cool with that I'm just not going to do that or maybe he's so high value, and we've talked about this before, that I ought to voluntarily, of my own volition, take down my OnlyFans, take down my Instagram, rather than have him ask me in the first place, because I don't want there to be any confusion that he's the mm. guy for me, and he's the guy that I want to be with. Right. So when 
whenever we talk about like what do you bring to the table besides your pussy and your mouth and whatever you know what, what's your what, what's your value added the one thing i always say is insight because that insight is so rare in women i mean it is like 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 extremely extremely rare that is a woman a woman who sees a man and say mm. I need that man, you know what I'm saying? And she takes it upon herself to say, you know, let me go ahead and turn my IG off. Let me go ahead and block close these things. I'm not even getting on social media no more. You know what I'm saying? Baby, what you need? Baby, what you need? right there, y'all. TikTok is divorce porn. And that's what you get with these single women groups. That's what you get in a lot of these circle, uh, social media circles that a lot of the women are running in. They get around all these other single women and it's just bashing on, girl, you don't need him, da 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 da, da. And next thing you know, y'all all single instead of being married. You know what I'm saying? Next time you want to take some advice, try to find someone who's married in your family. Do you even have anyone that's married in your family? Just sit down real quick and think, out of all the women in the family, think of the, your, your close cousin's friends, who's actually married with a solid, foundated uh, marriage? Like, who... Who, who is it? And then maybe you could talk to them and get some advice. But most of y'all don't even have that. Most people don't have that in their family at all. You know what I'm saying? So it's crazy, y'all. Comment below, man. Let me know what y'all think about uh, what we're talking about here. Women would never fall in line unless you do this, man. Unless you straighten up and be firm. Quit playing games, man. You can't be simple. You can't be soft for these girls, man. Toughen up. Let's get it. Let's go. Gang.